Hey guys, I'm going to show you my max patches here from chapters uh, seven and eight, I believe it was. Um, so the first area you can see here is the um, mouse, mouse pitch tracker. Um, so over here we have our toggle to turn it on. Uh, you have the metronome set to 20 um, milliseconds, so it's going to go really quick. Right here, the mouse state, you can see the bang going off every 20 milliseconds. But here's the mouse state tracking the horizontal and then the vertical position. Uh, you got your scale here to set the scale from the size of your monitor to um, to the 128 MIDI pitches uh, sending out here to show you exactly what MIDI, uh, your your velocity and your uh, pitch that's coming out, going into your make, make note um, and then your note out. So let me see. Ah, there we go. We weren't getting audio. Cues. So there's kind of a look at what that is like. And it's kind of weird. It's a little different on mine because I have two monitors set up. So the scaling was a little different and, and a little complicated to do. Um, and in certain areas, I see it's not, maybe not tracking as well as others. Um, but that was kind of cool, kind of fun to do. Um, then over here on the other side of my patch, I went ahead and did some of the stuff for the next chapter. Um, I actually copied the uh, the HI object, the human interface object from uh, the help session, and I pasted all of that that was in there um, in the help reference area onto my patch so that I could kind of go through it and figure out how everything works. Um, I believe, you know, first you're supposed to hit this menu button, I think, and then the pull 10. So every 10 milliseconds, it's checking. And then if I click USB receiver two, yeah, that should be what my mouse is set up to. Since I didn't have, I do have a, a Nintendo switch and I want to try and figure out how the switch works with all this stuff. But for now, I just use this USB mouse, which has a bunch of different things. And if you watch right here on the numbers, as I click, it's sending different uh, different information here on the different buttons because there are several different buttons to click here. So uh, sort of what I did here, I came up with an idea to just do like this fur release uh, mouse player thing. So here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Um, but basically, I'll try and hold my mouse up while I do this. Um, I gave instructions here, if you're using my mouse, to right-click twice, and then you'll, uh, let's see, click the scroll bar, so the scroll bar in the middle, and then you'll left-click, and then you'll click the down arrow, and then up, and then you'll press space. Oh, no, and for some reason space isn't working. Let's see if I can, there we go, now it worked. Okay. So if you do all those steps in order, ideally, it should sound like the beginning to fur at least. So let's try that again. And there it is. So I thought that was kind of fun to uh, mess around with and see how I could make that work and make it into something useful. Um, and I do like in the chapter how he, he kind of talks about how that could help with um, students with disabilities or things like that that make it tough for them to play real instruments. And I like how he discusses using a, a Guitar Hero controller. Um, but anyway, here's my patch and kind of how I did it. I routed that. Um, I went into this route object here and I went out um, into these numbers to see them. I did the change zero on some of them so that, um, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Those are all the buttons on my mouse. And then I did the change zero for a couple of them because whenever I would send um, the information to it, like left clicking or right clicking, it gives you a one and a zero. So I told it for some of them not to um, give not to give it the zero as well or to give it just a zero. I can't remember how that works. It's kind of confusing, but um, basically to make sure it just plays one single note there. Okay, so I hope you guys like how that turned out, and I will see you guys soon in class. See ya.